you know, recently, a couple of weeks back, we have seen some media articles on how Delhi has gone from 1% to 9% EV. Uh, one, is it really true? And if so, what's the number that we are looking at right now? It has actually been a terrific uh, progress that Delhi has achieved uh, over a very short span of literally one and a half years. Uh, when we launched Delhi's EV policy, when Honorable CM Arvind Kejriwal announced it in August 2020, at that time, the share of EVs in new vehicle sales in Delhi was a mere 1.2 percent. And uh, again, within that, if you see, it was largely led by e-rickshaws. And if you look at uh, two-wheelers or four-wheelers or other segment, it was not even 0.2 or 0.3 percent. From that point on, if you look at just the last quarter, uh, the share of EVs in new vehicle sales has reached to 9 percent. It's in fact crossing 9 percent even. And I'll not be surprised if Delhi becomes the first state in India uh, in the coming month or two to cross the 10 percentage. It validates the uh, entire approach that Delhi has followed, you know, starting from the political commitment, uh, you know, which ensures there is sustained funding and uh, policy and regulatory support to uh, the carefully designed implementation plans that Delhi has adopted. It, it, it seems like everything is coming together. And we are progressing very steadily towards our very ambitious target of hitting 25% share of uh, EVs, penetration rate of EVs in new vehicle sales by 2024. Thanks, Jatin. These are really, really incredible numbers. Uh, so if I can ask one question, slightly kind of looking back. So where did this journey start? I mean, what were the main drivers? What are the main catalysts for Delhi to look at EV as, as a prime mode of transport? We know that uh, India houses, uh, you know, uh, 21 out of the 30 most polluted cities in the country. So, uh, and, and when we talk about pollution, obviously the national capital figures high on the list. So two or three years back, uh, you know, Delhi government came up with its green budget. And this was an attempt to say that, you know, many times uh, we, we talk about annual programs when it comes to pollution, but pollution is such a long-term thing that unless you attack the root sources of pollution, you're not going to move the needle beyond a certain point. So in the green budget, we did some long-term thinking and planning. And one of the things we laid out over there is that Delhi should become the leading city in adoption of electric vehicles. And the entire motivation there was not to attract investments, but to curtail pollution. So it was late 2018 when we put out uh, the draft EV policy, which was uh, drafted uh, by the Dialogue and Development Commission, DDC. We very clearly said that our EV policies, success or failure will be measured by the adoption of EVs. And we were the first state to actually put out a number that by 2024, we would like 25% of new vehicle sales to be EVs. And to do that, we will do everything that is possible, be it giving the highest and targeted, well-targeted subsidies, be it setting up uh, private as well as uh, public charging infrastructure, be it introducing fee baits, you know, disincentives for IC engine vehicles and uh, uh, incentives for the EVs, uh, you know, recycling, uh, R&D, all, all those elements were there. So that's where it started. And I think through that entire process of a year and a half of deliberation, we made sure that uh, not only our policy was the most progressive in the country, but we literally took learnings from all major countries and cities around the globe. And that is how finally when the EV policy was launched, in August 2020, it was a culmination of really very wide stakeholder consultations. Is there something also different in Delhi EV policy from the rest of the other states, which has played a critical role in scaling up EV? The crucial difference was that we were led by a demand side incentives and demand side push, right? Our entire thesis was that manufacturing will fall in place once the demand takes off. Because the demand was practically nil, even in a place like Delhi, uh, which has uh, a very high share of uh, private vehicles per capita, uh, the share of EVs was only one person. So we said, let's do everything to move the needle on the demand side. And even within that, and this is what also separates Delhi from uh, maybe other places, uh, since our entire motivation was to reduce pollution, we looked at which are the segments of vehicles that contribute maximum to pollution. And we saw that two-wheelers and three-wheelers literally contributed 70 to 80 percent. So there's no point uh, putting so many incentives on other segments. So I think we were the first state to also realize that it's not good enough to just set up public charging stations. We also need to incentivize setting up of private charges. So if you own an office building and you want to put charges for your employees, 
then can government simplify the process and and give you incentive right if you were in a mall owner or a shopping complex or even a kirana showroom and if you wanted to put a charger in front of your shop for your uh, customers can the government facilitate we were the first state to make sure that a road tax and registration fee were exempt we also introduced non financial incentives so it also validates our approach that you know pushing or promoting evs is not about just giving subsidy it's actually about sitting across the table with the stakeholders right and asking them what will it take for you to adopt and switch entirely to evs and then you hear a list of things that appear and as a government you need to be willing to work with the industry with the private sector players uh, on each of those things that's when the entire ecosystem effect kicks in uh, the other issue which we keep on hearing is where is the charging infrastructure and and i know delhi government has been pushing a lot to create public charging infrastructure so is there a timeline on how many charging infrastructure can we see maybe in this year or next year let me ask you and uh, probably you already know the answer but let me ask you uh, how many public charging points do you think already are there in delhi maybe around 60 or 70 377 oh wow okay so uh, and all of this has happened in the last two years so uh, i think we need to understand that so so I, and in fact the awareness is low and i completely admit that uh, because there are multiple players who are you know setting up these uh, charging infrastructure and we very recently come up with a website uh, delhi government's website it's called ev.delhi.gov.in there you can see for the first time a integrated charging infrastructure map uh, of delhi you can filter it by charges you can filter it by districts and see how you know totally there are 170 charging stations and close to 370 or 380 charging points which are available today delhi has the cheapest ev tariff ev charging tariff in the country uh, i think our commercial tariff is around 7 and 1/2 8 rupees for ev vehicles even if uh, you are using it for commercial fleets uh, you uh, the tariff in delhi is only 4 and 1/2 rupees what we have done and we have worked through our uh, drc the delhi electricity regulatory commission to ensure that uh, you know to avail of the ev tariff you don't need a dedicated feeder connection earlier ye tha ki aapko separate connection dalna hai see all these uh, adds up in terms of the effort in terms of the cost which we created this unique single window facility where the power department the transport department the three discoms of delhi came together and uh, we empaneled all the certified uh, charging infrastructure players so that whoever wants to set up a charging point in delhi can directly apply through their discom and within 7 days you will get your charging point activated so all these steps have been taken to promote private charging infrastructure on the public charging infrastructure as i said delhi government has actually identified prime land parcels across delhi a uh, hundred of them around 70 of which are at delhi metro stations we have put out the largest bid for private players to come in a ppp mode and set up public charging infrastructure in these land parcels a total of 500 charging points are going to be set up Uh, i'm very glad to note that this tender is almost in the final few days of its finalization so assuming it happens by end of uh, february then within 6 months of that uh, you know by august or so uh, we should see another over these 380 charging points we'll see another 500 public charging points being added and this is apart from the private charging points where we have a target of actually 30000 you know 30000 charging points at malls at office complexes at all delhi government offices where again we have put out a mandate that in the next 3 months all delhi government offices will have at least one slow and one uh, moderate to fast charge many states have the same organization dealing with ev and that's why it's a non starter so is there some innovation which has been done in delhi to make sure that this happens quickly on ground i have always believed that a good policy is only 10% of the effort right the 90 percentage comes down to how you implement when we uh, drafted the ev policy there itself we mentioned that along with the policy we have a section on policy implementation where we mentioned that we will set up a dedicated state ev cell which will have staff uh, with the expertise in electric vehicles who will be brought on board on a contractual basis in delhi government we are working with them uh, and their teams Uh, on on almost every nut and bolt thing that we want to implement and that has been terrific in terms of filling the knowledge gap on many of these crucial things on how to implement some of the uh, promises that we have put down 
we are soon going to be uh, creating posts for uh, the chief EV officer of Delhi, as well as consultants who are on the roles of Delhi government, but come from the private sector on contractual basis. So we'll have a dedicated setup and team which works together with the bureaucracy in implementing the mandate of uh, the, uh, EVs. Within DDC also, we have set up a small team that uh, you know, brings in outside expertise, but also works very closely with transport department in navigating different aspects of our uh, EV policy. On the charging infrastructure side, Delhi has created a very unique charging infrastructure working group. Uh, the actual name for it is Working Group for Accelerated Rollout of Charging Infrastructure in Delhi. And this uh, group is chaired by myself. Um, and we have over there the secretaries of transport, power department, uh, all the CEOs of the power discoms, and all the municipal uh, commissioners of them. And this uh, and the DDA, uh, which also owns a lot of land parcels. And I can tell you that has been the most crucial step that we took quite early on to make sure that everybody is aligned. The second external setup is uh, setting up of the uh, Delhi uh, EV hub, uh, you know, where we, uh, what we did is we said that, you know, Delhi government has uh, been consulting with all the stakeholders. We set up this entire mechanism uh, where uh, Delhi EV forum, where all these stakeholders could come together every six months and have a free flowing conversation with Delhi government. I think that has been a very healthy mechanism for us to get ongoing feedback rather than uh, you know, feel that government is doing everything fine, but uh, on the ground, there may be many other challenges that we may be missing. Where do you see EV journey, let's say, next five years? Uh, what's the number that you are looking at uh, EV as a new vehicle registration, maybe in 2027, 20, if I can ask? First of all, I think we are very confident of uh, meeting the 25% target. If you look at the intra-city transit, I expect that to almost entirely, and if you're saying five years, my sense will be at least 50 percentage of that is going to shift to EVs. The sales of all the electric vehicle segments uh, uh, in Delhi, uh, two wheelers are now leading segment. Uh, you know, earlier e electric rickshaws uh, used to be the leading segment, but for the first time in the last one or two months, we are seeing the sales of electric two wheelers to be much, much higher. And, you know, year on year growth, if you talk about it, it's more than 150 uh, percent in two wheelers. Electric cargo vehicles, uh, you know, your half ton vehicles, one ton vehicles, three wheelers, four wheelers, passenger auto rickshaws, all of them, I see an en masse shift happening. You know, in electric auto rickshaws, uh, uh, some of, uh, you know, the people who are watching this uh, may already know that Delhi uh, is soon going to have the largest number of electric autos running in its streets. We have just issued uh, permits for 4,200 uh, electric auto rickshaws. Even the small mini buses, you know, for local transport, uh, we can see, in fact, electric buses already is big on the agenda of Delhi government. We have committed that all future of our purchases are going to be electric buses. And uh, again, you know, I'm very sure that at least 50 percentage of our fleet by 2027 is going to be electric buses. So, uh, you know, it'll be very exciting. Part of it we can predict a myth, part of it we cannot. And, and you know, uh, the important thing as a government is to be very conscious about the trends in the market. Maybe there is a product innovation in certain segment. Uh, maybe battery swapping really takes off in a very big way. Then the economics of everything changes. Maybe the battery technology changes and the prices drop further. So as a government, we are keeping our ear to the ground. Uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, pushing on our current priorities, which is electric two wheelers and three wheelers.